Hello everybody, SCP Slayer here, and welcome to The Call of Karen. Yes, you heard that name right. It's a Call of Cthulhu horror, psychological horror thing. I'm gonna start the game, because this freaking title screen music is annoying. <laughs> We're gonna find out exactly what the hell this is. It literally describes it as a horror, a horror game. Oh, thank God, I can affect. Motion blur off, please. Okay, so this is back in, like, the 80s, for sure. Can I turn that off? Cook What's eggs. a good Christian woman like you doing out of the kitchen and on America's airwaves? I wonder that myself sometimes, Charles. Okay, so this is definitely like 80s. We're just gonna We're just gonna leave that room. God, I hate the music. <laughs> like it's not that it's bad, it's just really loud and annoying, and I wish I could turn it down. How do I take a fork? to it. Okay, so I need two eggs. Uh, where's like a pan? Ah! Okay, so I'm probably gonna need this. Condiments. Okay, so that's pepper and shit. Okay. It's quite the intense sound. Okay, we're gonna just grab a plate. God, this is hard to control. Okay, so we're just kind of doing normal housework, I guess? Question mark? So this is definitely, like, back in the era of stupid bullshit, basically. Like, this is in the era where fucking people are going on about the commies and all that bullshit. Okay, uh, a bit of salt and a bit of pepper. Alright. No, gimme... Gimme. God, that's hard to control. Okay, I can't do that. Yeah, fuck your salt. Why do I have so much salt and pepper? And then we take a fork to it. Francis, Task complete. Your favorite. Meatloaf sandwich Mom, with... I can't talk. I gotta go now. I'm gonna miss the bus. Oh, okay. Well, I love you. Are you tired of feeling taken? I didn't even see him. You know it, Charles. Of course you are. We know all you family men work hard all day just to provide for the kiddos at the old ball and chain. And when do they ever say thank you? Hmm. Honey, I'll be out late again. Have dinner ready when I get back. Where is she? Door's right here. This truly is the American dream. Happy home, happy life, and happy wife. And what could be happy? Okay, so... We'll be back with more tales messages yeah it sounds like sounds like old america constantly what the fuck's going on clean up books on shelf okay how do i put books on shelf when they don't want to go on shelf the books are physically physically defying uh gravity and refusing to go onto the shelf Tin for cards. Okay. There's one card in the tin. Why is gravity uh, being defied? It might be time to lay off the morning wine. Probably. Uh, oh. Even when something's a little different around here, there's always a mess to clean up. God, there's too much bullshit. <laughs> Why in the world are all of my things floating? Okay, so I was supposed to, like, do whatever the fuck I just did to trigger that, and then try to clean it up. Hopefully it's putting another card in there will fucking... never mind. I made this tin impossible to sit on things. Also, my hitbox is way too big, I can't make it close to that fucking table. Uh, papers on pencil... papers on table, pencils on table. Okay, tin by Francis' door. 
Okay, this is this is a very weird game. It's in a very weird era too. Like, why is Cthulhu appearing in this era? Why? Why is what does Cthulhu want with like this shitty little era of humanity's history? Or I guess U.S. history. I guess not. Like, you know, it's a shitty time period. In all honesty. Like, there were just a lot of people being assholes back in this era. There's a pencil I'm missing. And a piece of paper. There we go. Tin done. This is a very odd game to be playing, in all honesty. I'm not sure what the hell is happening. But cups, plates, forks. Bake that meatloaf. Bring it on the table. All right. I need to find, like, a bake pan, perhaps? I'm supposed to cook the meatloaf. Do I just plop it in? What do I do with the meatloaf? Okay, that's what I do. That is not how you cook meatloaf. Oh my god, this game is going to piss me off. I don't know if you guys can tell. But I can't reach things because my body is, like, the hitbox on this character is way too far. There go the forks. Hopefully they're easier to grab because now they're not in the fucking area I can't reach. Why am I hitting something? There's nothing here. I'm running into air. Okay, so cups. Boom. I'm, I'm just going to yeet them. You yeet. That missed. Hey, look, it's a song from, from, uh, Day Shift to Freeze. Okay, and, oh, I can reach that cupboard from behind the wall. That's not very well made. Easy way to tell when they're using, uh, stock music. I'll bring the big knife. Oh, come on. Okay, there we go. Dinner's ready. Fucking hell, I had to get up on the table. Sure. Sure. When Francis isn't sorting his trading cards and John isn't working on his novel, dinner can't come fast enough. But when they're busy, they can't be bothered. Ugh, might as well listen to the radio while I wait. And what a wonderful day it was! And if we have our way, we'll be living like this forever. Don't forget, anyone who wants different is a threat to our country. Be sure to report any strange happening. Ah, uh, well, that's interesting. Okay, that's already screaming dystopia. Good to know. Okay, you are... the fuck? Okay. Is something changed outside, perhaps? I, I don't see anything. It's still the same stock image in the background. I don't see... Okay. Um, we're just gonna ignore the fact that all of my stuff just came flying. If I have to politely remind John to stop stacking food against the fridge door again, I'll scream. Or... Would, if you didn't always leave the room when I show womanly emotions. Floor vacant for me. Oh, what a feeling. Good morning, America. We're back at it again on this bright and sunny morning. And aren't we glad that it's bright and sunny, considering that freak storm over the Atlantic last night that certainly didn't give me any ideas about the fragility of our human lives. In other news, you sure about that? the amount of salt you put on your meatloaf say something about how good of a wife you are? Tune in after the break to find out. Oh, fuck you, asshole. Okay, so we get eggs again. Normal. This is a lot of weird. This is a lot of weird. And fork time. Fork drop. Francis, don't forget your lunch. Why did everything just close? You make lunch like Timmy's mom does. She gives him cookies. And don't you forget the meatloaf tonight, honey. I... <sighs> Where are they? They're not here. Why do we only have meatloaf, is my question. Today's broadcast brought to you by Houston Enterprise's new vacuum cleaner. With brand new technology that keeps your house cleaner longer. But not too long, or you ladies back home would have nothing to do. We've got a testimonial today from one of our happy customers. Say well, that's a little stupid of you to say, Jones. asshole. Hi, Charles. It's a pleasure to be here. Susan Jones? Timmy's mom, PTA president, makes snide comments about my brownies. Now, Susan, you're a mother, PT 
FDA president and baker extraordinaire. Oh, I don't know if I'd say extraordinaire. I just know what I'm doing when some others <laughs> struggle a bit more. Susan Jones? Timmy's mom, PTA president, makes snide comments about my brownies. Susan Jones? All right, that's definitely not normal. Ah, oh, yes. You're a mother, PTA president, and baker extraordinaire. Everything's looping a bit. Any second now, Charles from PMCR Radio is going to knock on the I'm door and tell me this is all a weird prank show segment. <laughs> and Susan will be there too. Sure, Susan. That was weird. All right. Well, the plates kind of... One of the plates kind of plated themselves. That's nice of it. Get all that shit out there done. Jesus. Everything's starting to float more. Slightly concerning. Also very messy. There we go. That worked perfectly. Uh, what am I missing? There's literally one fork. Where is a fork? Well, there's the knives. Where are the knives over here? There's a plate over here. Ah, here's a fork. Bring it to the table. And now... Time to... Chop it up! Dinner's ready. There we go. Dinner's minute. ready. In a minute. Ugh. Well, that's it for me tonight, folks. Keep an eye out for anything strange. And don't forget... Ah, yes. Don't forget... Hold on. I just realized you guys probably aren't hearing very well. Turn it up a little bit for you. But yeah, it's still extraordinarily loud on my end. Alright, can gravity return to these, please? Okay. Well, I prefer floating bacon to floor bacon. Though I can't say I'm a huge fan of either. Another day in American paradise, the greatest country on earth. Don't okay, that's restored to gravity. Program, Are you sure about that, good sir? And that's not all. If you buy now, you'll get a free pair of binoculars to spy on your neighbors. Gravity, can you return to my stuff? Okay, the game has decided to be a bitch. Okay, now, now that the game has decided it's asshole time. Well, that egg plated itself. Put it down, damn it. God, my shit won't stop floating. There's an egg all the way the fuck out here. Where'd my shit go? God damn it, why is it all the way the fuck over here? God, that is a special kind of fucky. I was hoping I could find, like, something else to do. Why is my hitbox that big? What the fuck? Hold still. Oh my god. I hate you. I hate plating, floating food. That is the weirdest sentence I will ever have to say. In a game. Oh my god. And get forked. There we go. Hi Francis. Hope you have a good day at school. Uh, have, have your fucking flying work, saucer of food. <laughs> the thing is just flying. Gravity does not obey any of that anymore. Buy a Hurston vacuum. Why? Sir. It will have your carpet sparkling like new. Yeah, yeah, give me a ring when it does the same thing for my ceiling. Yeah, why in the world is there dirt on the ceiling? Ah, there we go. Oh, yes, Being Magazine is here. Please take me away to a world of country melodrama where I don't have to worry about how my house might be possessed. Silver bullets, huh? You know what? Sure. Better safe than sorry. If only I hadn't sold the pistol when we had Francis. Mail order, silver bullets, right click while holding the brochure. There we go. Pick another mail slot. Okay, so why why was that in a catalog? Why were silver bullets in a catalog? Oh that's gonna be stupid. Those silver bullets can't get here fast enough. Hey, whatever entity is doing this, please stop. I don't need any more cleaning to do. Okay, okay, I can take a hint. Okay, that one's not spinning like the other ones. The other ones are ridiculous. What the fuck? 
What is happening? What has this game become? I knew from the name of Call the Call of Karen that it would be something fucking stupidly ridiculous. Was not expecting this. I feel like someone just had too much fun fucking with gravity effects in the Unreal Engine. Because this is an Unreal Engine game, by the way. Clearly not the best made game. But, dear god, this is something for sure. Could I please get... Oh my god. The amount of stupid that is happening on, on screen right now. I... My brain is having a fucking meltdown. Where are the... Where, where are the forks? There's the forks. Here's the... Here, what? Uh, there I go. I don't fucking know what is happening. My brain is having, like, a fucking aneurysm. I'm trying to comprehend what the fuck is happening. God, there's a lot of stupid... Can I turn off that fucking radio? That's stupidly annoying. Quit doing a jig. And get cooked. Please, and thank you. And... Plates and forks and fucking cups. Quit doing a jig as well. There we go. Ah, uh, yes. The meatloaf has started doing somersaults on the fucking table. Uh, where's that knife I saw spinning around here? I wanted to, like, lacerate me, please. Dear God, this is... This is a goddamn nightmare. Dinner's ready. There we in go. In a minute. Yeah, yeah. Start cooking for the entity in the house. Maybe it will appreciate my cooking. Knife, end me. End me. End me. What? I can't tell if that's a yes or no. Loud studying noise. I'm going to say no. Good evening, listeners. Gee, did that day fly by with no strange happenings at all. For you night owls out there, here's the evening news. That storm out by hmm. the Atlantic seems to have cleared up. The Navy is setting out to investigate, to make sure it isn't something... else. Meanwhile, some odd fellow in Johansson County swears there's a new mountain on the horizon by his house. <laughs> what? Uh, the things some folks will do for attention, am I right? If you live near that man, you'd best keep an eye on him for other... unusual behavior. Ow! Oh, am I still alive? Good morning, everyone. How long is this game? Is a, slate, a brand new start! Breakfast, as you all know, is the most important meal of the day. Except, of course, for the most important meal of the universe, where the old ones descend upon humanity and eat the sun. Broadcast is telling me that isn't a standard meal in most American households. My mistake. Uh, yes. When the Elder Gods descend upon the Earth and eat everyone. Oh, yes. Don't, don't you just love that meal? That meal in particular. It's the best, you know? Just being devoured alive as the old ones fucking eat your fucking soul. Don't you just love that? That's just the best. Everyone has a nice hearty old ones, old one devouring here and there, you know? We all, we all have a little bit of an old one devouring. Have you ever, have you had your daily old ones devouring today? God, I wish that, how do you how, how, I don't know how to take this game seriously at this point. I don't know why, why, why I would take this game seriously in the first place, in all honesty. But also, dear God. Francis, are you there? Yeah, Timmy's dad is driving me to school. Oh, I could drive Timmy's you. Timmy's mom says that women shouldn't drive. Wow. Daddy. Fuck that child. <laughs> Strange. Oh, hey. My silver bullet shouldn't arrive until tomorrow. A mysterious package has appeared. Is that a note? Right click, right click while holding an item to oh use boy. it. Oh boy! From Susan. What did she have to say this time? I saw your lawn was looking more drab than usual, and I thought there is a gal who has elder demons in her home. Here's a book that might help. Wow! Isn't that just so thoughtful of her? What the fuck? Why has my vacuum become- what in the world? There we go. Okay, so I have an eldritch vacuum now. Um, why is my vacuum glowing with fucking, like, demon sigils and shit? Okay. That's actually useful? 
Oh, I have to write her a nice thank you letter now, don't I? Probably, yeah. Uh, throw a pencil at the paper <laughs> to see what ideas flow. Make sure to fold it nice and neat so Susan doesn't have something to say about it. That, too. It means there we go. so much to me that you reached out, especially with your extraordinarily <laughs> busy schedule. I'll be sure to send over <laughs> some fresh brownies when I get the chance. I'll make them extra overcooked just for you. There we go. Through the mail slot. Alright, that's a thing. And now, a public service announcement from your local neighborhood watch. Oh, Over at your neighbors for dinner, keep an eye out for strange happenings. A dysfunctional dinner is the first sign of an unhappy home and a potential threat to your community. Come on, Charles. I don't need you calling me out, too. Okay, I have the meatloaf. Okay, then, possessed meatloaf. Get in the... No, 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 Come here. Where on earth did the Pexy meatloaf go? Maybe some of the holy water from the closet will set it straight. Wait, holy... What in the fuck? Garlic knives? Wood steaks? What do you even think of holy water? Where is it? There, I've doused, I've blessed the meatloaf with holy water at this point. I can't even say that I'm surprised that I'm blessing meatloaf with holy water at this point. This game has done a number on my fucking psyche, and I want to die now. Anyway. I, I, or rather, I don't want to die. I want the game to stop existing, and the character to actually stop with this bullshit that is happening. What the fuck? My brain. <laughs> my brain is dead. Oh my god. I can't form cohesive sentences. My brain is too focused on what the fuck am I doing? <laughs> I have to catch the forks and plates and shit. This is so stupid. This is an amount of stupid that I didn't expect today. I really didn't. Can I take more holy water? Can I spray the plates? Can I get the plates to go under control? God damn it, stop! I'll bless the entire fucking house at this point. Dear God! I think I just chucked a knife across the room. Dinner's ready. There. Task done. I'm working on my novel. I'm sorting my trading cards. Are you an unhappy housewife in your house life? Maybe so, Charles. Maybe so. Then stay tuned. We've got ten appliances that will make you the perfect house spouse. And they're so easy, we're sure even you ladies will be able to figure it out. And ten more reasons for Susan to brag about how rich she is at the next PTA meeting. Appliance one. A safe hmm. line with iron to keep the manuscripts describing all the horrors you've seen. What? And five down is computer for total leader. Those are the answers to yesterday's crossword. Hope you had fun playing along with us. Strange words this time. What is that, Lithuanian? Darn, I thought it was Cthulhu Patagon Arlie. So close. Oh my gosh, with my stuff... Okay, this is starting to get very repetitive. I'm starting to question where the hell the end of this game is. And I... I'm also losing interest in actually finding the end. But I am also out of time for this video, so everyone has enjoyed. If you're doing the ranks of the SCP Foundation, don't forget to shoot that like button, slay those comments, and contain that subscribe button. Anyway guys, I'll see you in the next video, live stream, or whatever next. Peace, guys!